So uh, I just got back from the nightclub, and uh, on the side I saw this. And the footage you're looking at now was actually shot on the iPod Touch. Um, I'll be honest, it's not great, but I'd like to see what this camera can do in, you know, better circumstances. So maybe I'll do that in the future. If anyone was wondering, this is how the front camera fares. Um, it's not great, Chief. So realistically, it's absolutely terrible. The footage is grainy, uh, there's no dynamic range, um, the white balance is atrocious, um, there is no detail, even though it's 720p, there is absolutely no detail because of the fixed focus lens. Um, an interesting thing about the iPod Touch is, no autofocus. There is one set focal distance and that is it. But, having said that, you've got to give it kind of, you know, you've got to look at it from the context of its time. So this released in 2010, and for a lot of people, that was their first introduction to an HD camera. This was my first HD camera when I got an iPod Touch. Uh, back in 2010, and I have loads of videos from, you know, 13 years ago now because of this device. So, you know, realistically, it may even have been a, a quite a large part of why I'm doing what I'm doing now with my life. You know, I'm studying media, and I loved YouTube and videos growing up, and this was part of it for me. Um, and, you know, another thing was that, it, relatively speaking, it was cheap. I mean, it was, you know, I think it launched for £169. I'll correct that later if that wasn't the right number. So, for a lot of people, it was a good way to get into HD video. Again, most mobile phones shot in 144p if you were lucky. Maybe if you had an iPhone 3GS, it was, um, you know, 480p. And to be fair, the iPhone 3GS probably has better video than this. In fact, I know it does. At least it has you know, better colour reproduction, autofocus, but, but, for its price point, you can't argue with that, especially for the time. So, you know what, iPod, you may take shit videos, but I still like you. In fact, I still love you. Oh, hello, me again. Um, so basically two things have happened. Well, I've had two thoughts. One, I really like the way these videos look. It, it's sort of nostalgic to me, looking at, you know, the colours and the grain and everything else. And the second thing is that the... I haven't really been very fair to this. I'm gonna be honest, I filmed this video completely on a spur of the moment, kind of thought. So what I'm gonna do is make a part two, and if nobody watches it, that's fine. But tomorrow I will take this out um, with me as I go about my day, and I'll just make a vlog. And um, we'll see how it performs in, you know, sunlight and, you know, indoor lighting conditions, different, you know, different kind of environments that someone might use this in. And maybe we might get something good out of it. Maybe.